my name? What is my name? Lord Vryker, our invasion fleet draws nigh to Taylor. Once they've established a foothold, we can begin our conquest of Tincha. Acknowledged. Remain watchful. I will not tolerate failure. This is the first step. Your destiny unfolds to glory. There is little glory in escorting transport ships while the Aegis Ocularis burns. Patience. Like a fortress, glory must have solid foundations. This escort mission is but the first step on the path. The convoy's course would seem to cross that of a migration of plasmid medusae. We have wasted enough time without making needless diversions. There is danger here. Medusae are highly unstable and will explode upon making contact with one of our vessels. They shall not have the chance to do so. Drive to combat speed. I have practice for our gunners. Glory to the gods. We have detected an Ultramarine's fleet on the outer edge of the Medusae Shoal. Gulliman's weaklings so close to the Eye of Terror. I sense opportunity to repay old debts. All ships to battle stations! Traitor vessels! You face the sons of Macrog! The Avengers of a hundred despoiled worlds! Yield! And I promise a swift death in the Emperor's name! Save your breath, Kerr. Mercy is not yours to offer or receive this day. We shall see! All vessels move to engage! In the name of the Prophet Lorgar and the Dark Gods, you will find no victory here! Have a care. Do not let old wounds blind you to your purpose. The transport vessels must reach their destination. Tear them apart!
vessels are clear of the battle and proceed towards Tyloth. Excellent. The Astartes fleet is dust. Their blind loyalty to the corpse emperor repaid with death. My appetite for slaughter is barely whetted. The coming days promise slaughter enough to satisfy your every craving. You need only have patience.
Arcadia has fallen, but the war against the servants of the false emperor forges ever on. How may I serve the gods? The Black Fleet is thick with ambitious warlords. They know little loyalty to Warmaster Abaddon, and pay but lip service to the gods. The time is coming when Abaddon will depend upon you as no other. But only if you prove yourself. I shall not be found wanting, Malevolence. Good. Strike now. Carve yourself a domain from amongst these squalling stars. My agent within the Imperial Navy will assist you in this matter. Lord High Admiral Dran? Yes, Malevolence. Is Admiral Spire contained as I commanded? Indeed, Malevolence. Even now, the hero of the Gothic War wastes his might on insignificant battles in the Cadian Sector, leaving your forces free reign elsewhere. Are you certain of this? The early stages of this onslaught are vital. Spire's presence in this sector would prove... problematic, if only for the false hope it would seed. It is truth, I swear to you. You need not concern yourself with Spire until you choose to do so. Good. Your loyalty will be rewarded, Admiral. Warlord Riken, I suggest you focus your attention on Chinchar. Its peoples cry out for spiritual guidance and freedom from the false idols of the glutted Imperium. It shall be as you say, Malevolence. spanning empire in decline. Once humanity stood on the brink of taming the stars, a golden age of light and glory beckoned. But men have ever been prone to temptation and lured to stubborn pride. Now the space marines, intended as the vanguard of mankind's ascension, fight ceaselessly to prevent their father's work sliding into ruin. The Adeptus Mechanicus, custodians of wondrous technology, take to the stars in hope of unearthing lost secrets from the very darkest of ages, and to impose the Omnissiah's will upon a scattered galaxy. But nowhere is the Imperium's might more plainly seen than in the vessels of its star-spanning navy. As war rages, colossal warships slip anchor to smite the foe with the righteous fury of the faithful. Such vessels are both Imperium's stalwart shield and gleaming spear, shining in the impenetrable dark of space. It takes more than a man to command such a warship. It takes a hero, strong in will and unflinching of purpose. Without such heroes, the Emperor's light would surely wane. Admiral Spire is one such hero. Forged in the hallways of the vaunted Scola Progenium, tempered in the cursed days of Abaddon's 12th Black Crusade. Long has he been lost, but now, freed from the Immaterium's clutches, he returns to shed his blood in the Emperor's cause once more. Any who seek to sweep mankind from the stars must first reckon with Spire. Many have sought his head, all have failed. But one hero alone may not be enough to change the Imperium's fortunes. It will take thousands, even millions, for mankind to reclaim its footing in the Eye of Terror's gaping maw and millions more to hold it. Such a task will not be easy. Cadia is demon-hunted rubble, and the Imperium itself is scarred, torn in two by the Cicatrix Maledictum. But it is the nature of heroes to triumph in adversity, and of faith to flourish in the dark.
so easily does Chincha fall. The gods mark you for greatness. I am honored to be their vessel. As you should. This system is almost ours. Even now, my dark apostles rouse the populace to fervor. Imperial crews turn upon one another in glorious uprising. But greater tests await. The gods see your efforts and are satisfied. Hold their interest. Perform dark rituals to the gods of the worlds you seize. And you will be justly rewarded. I live to serve the Four. And serve them you shall, but not alone. Your dedication to the gods draws their foremost champions to your banner. Choose well who serves you, and remember always that one serves his patron god above all. I understand, Malevolence. Then make your selection from those gathered before you, and choose wisely. chains of loyalty and marked by the divine, he will serve you well in the months to come. I look forward to witnessing his capabilities once battle is joined, Malevolence. The gods' attention is fickle. Should you wish to hold their gaze, you must make an offering worthy of notice. Subjugate a captured system. Let sacrifice and ritual blaze across the stars. Such has always been the word-bearer's way. Let the worthy embrace the truth of chaos, and the weak feed the flames. Good. Then it remains only to choose the nature of your offering. Let the ritual begin. Begun. The Dark Gods see your faith blazing like a star. Their gifts will surely follow. This is but the beginning, Malevolence. Soon all the sectors of the Aegis Ocularis will scream praise to Chaos. Chinchar brought into the embrace of chaos. You should cast your eye further afield. What would you recommend, Malevolence? It would seem the Imperium are mustering a counterblow at Dorsia. Perhaps there. The skies are choked with wreckage. Imperial vessels will surely use the debris as a shield against our auspexes. The challenge is too much for you. Was I mistaken to choose you as a harbinger of the gods? I will lead the attack personally. Let the ruin of Dorsia send a message to those who would thwart mankind's ascension.
The region of space now known as the Eye of Terror was once home to the Eldari Empire. A prideful, sensuous people, the Eldari realized too late the perils of excess. The fourth chaos god, Slanish, was born from their debauchery, its coming heralded by a psychic scream that shook real space to its foundations and devastated the Eldari. The Crone Worlds are all that remain of the Eldari's fallen domain. They are blighted planets, consumed by the spreading unreality of the Eye of Terror and twisted to new and nightmarish realities. Though the Crone Worlds are overrun by the servants of the Dark Gods, the Eldari have not entirely abandoned them. They cannot, for only here can the treasured spirit stones be harvested and thus the souls of the dying be saved from thirsting slanish. Such expeditions are fraught with peril, for there are few more dangerous places amongst the stars. Many who seek the Crone Worlds do not return. The Eldari have never recovered from the horrors of the Fall. They are a fractured, dwindling population on the brink of extinction. Most dwell aboard star-treading craft worlds, honing their peerless minds along the disciplined paths in the hope of staving off the perils of decadence and thus preventing a second, final catastrophe. But not all Eldari can bear the rigidity of craft world life. Some depart their homes, seeking adventure amongst the stars as corsairs. Such lives are fraught with danger, but are also rich with excitement these outcasts can be found in every corner of the galaxy, blazing a brief but exhilarating trail before madness claims them. The Drakari too live outside the structures of the Eldari path. Corrupt and cruel, they keep Slanish at bay, not with discipline and spirit stones, but by feasting on the torment of others. Raiders and slavers all, the Drakari are a blight upon the galaxy, as selfish as they are sadistic, as untrustworthy as they are cunning. But in recent days, the barriers between the Eldari factions have begun to crumble, with ever more gathering beneath the banner of one named Ivrain. These Inari keep their beliefs hidden, as hidden as their intentions. Should they be encountered on the battlefield, caution will serve you well.
The Skeller subsector is located to the galactic west of the Eye of Terror. Its capital planet, Skellis, is a feral world and was once the homeworld of the Sons of Malice. Once loyal space marines, they turned on the Imperium in the years leading to the 13th Black Crusade. The original name of the Sons of Malice has been lost to Imperial record, but it is speculated that they were one of the 20 chapters of the Astartes Priestess a founding created with the express purpose of safeguarding the region surrounding the Eye of Terror. The cold and unforgiving wastes of Skellis provide the Sons of Malice no shortage of barbaric recruits. Indeed, the Sons' foul religious practices trace their origins to those of the tribesmen from which they sprang. A scouring conducted by the Cadian 331st was thought to have ended these grisly traditions. Certainly, the natives were thought exterminated, and the sons of malice driven off. But rumors have surfaced, suggesting that the world is not so empty as was believed. It would seem that the sons of malice still stake a claim to this miserable planet. They will surely do whatever they must to make it theirs once more. are amongst the deadliest of the Xenos races. Multitudinous, belligerent, and possessed of brutal cunning, they spread across the stars like a green tide. Even in the war-riven sectors around the Eye of Terror, forever beset by chaos, they rank amongst the greatest threats. As battle raged between the Imperium and the dread forces of chaos, the Orcs gained a foothold upon ravaged worlds using them as staging areas from which they could slingshot deeper into Imperial territory. Orc technology is ramshackle, but terrifyingly effective. Combining mismatched components, 
scavenged gear and intuitive leaps to forge weapon systems whose inner workings baffle the most experienced of the Imperium's adepts, but lack for nothing in sheer unbridled firepower. In much the same way, an Orc Warlord can take a multitude of squabbling clans and forge them into an unstoppable army. Such a war has the sheer unbridled might necessary to conquer the stars themselves, leaving naught but rubble in its wake. As its momentum grows, so do its numbers grow, swollen by green skins drawn to the promise of bloodlust, teeth and loot.
that for the blood god!
This is the last known Imperial rally point. This will be a dangerous hunting ground, filled with wreckage and false signals. A good place for an ambush. Indeed, another opportunity to prove your worth. not allow censored ghosts to lead you into a trap. You have a recommendation, Malevolence. Reach forth your hand. Let your escort vessels and squadrons uncover the battlefield's truth. Save your warships for when the Unbeliever's trap is sprung. Agreed. We'll use their own snare against them. Task Force Retribution. Heretic forces are converging on our position. Break and attack. Target and destroy all enemy signatures. It seems we've been detected. Good. I tar a skulking amidst old bones. Doomfire's unleashed! Galaxy burn! Enemy ship sighted! Enemy ship sighted! Warp strike successful, Master! Strike team slaughtered them! Be the last fully strike from the war! Craft lost. Task Force Retribution, this is Dark Angels Battle Group Penance. We stand ready to assist them. Move to Vector. Lord Franken, with your assistance, I can neutralize the command crew of the Vengeful Justice and leave the vessel ripe for capture. Who are you? I believe your claims, because I am Arban Talus, forerunner of the Alpha Legion. I can do as I claim. All you need to do is stand ready. Truly, this is a sign of rising fortunes. Trust to the scion of Alpharius. Engage the foe, but spare the Dark Angel's flagship. Very well.
for the Dark Gods! We have located the vengeful justice. Traitor vessels identified. Prepare to engage all. Now is the moment. I have blast doors rigged to seal off the bridge. Send your strike teams and the vessel will be ours. Stand ready, Thomas. Strike teams are mobilizing. They're tracing my signal. Outward transmission detected. There is a traitor aboard. Find and kill him! This is no time for delay. Board the flagship! I... I cannot master! Warp stack successful, master! Ask your craft lost! Astract team slaughtered them! Master Cornile is dead. The bridge is under our command. Resistance elsewhere is fading as we vent the compartments into space. Diagnostics reveal order and system loss. He has done well. If shielded, he may prove a valuable asset. Agreed. Talus, we go prize under control. I order the fleet to give you what protection we can as we destroy the rest of the loyalist fleet. My thanks. Break them! Resistance is purged. I regret that several Imperial vessels have fled your wrath. Even now, they regroup under the command of Lord Admiral Spire. Let them run. I sought to send a message. Let them bear it far and wide to any who have wit to hear. We of the Alpha Legion excel in delivering such tidings. If you would have us serve you. Have a care. The sons of Alpharius are masters of deception. Keep them close, but not too close. Agreed. Return to your vessel, Instigator Talus. I will find you employment soon enough. As you command. I confess you exceed my expectations. So long as you continue to please the gods, their blessings will flow. We should press on to the Agrippina sector and bring enlightenment to this spire. Yeah. 
Lord Riken. Are you a mewling cur? The false Emperor's warriors are regrouping. Why have you not broken their resistance? They have proven more determined than anticipated. Even now, our Lord Admiral Spire marshals the defenders of the Aegis Ocularis Eastern Fringe. Perhaps worse, an Inquisitor Darkhammer has rooted out many of our operatives and infiltrators, blinding our great work. No excuses! I am the Chosen of Abaddon! I command you to bring Spire to battle! Scatter his fleet and his hopes! As you command. Hellbreed has closed the channel. He sees you as a threat, but we need not play his game. However, we cannot sit idle. Spire is a distant threat, but Darkhammer? We should put Drang to use. Lure Darkhammer into a trap. I concur. It is past time Drang proved his worth. Dran, your master commands you. Malevolence, how may I serve the gods? We desire direct confrontation with Inquisitor Darkhammer. It should be simple enough to arrange. The man's a maniac when he gets the spoor of heresy in his nostrils. I concede the stellar fortress Baleful Knight with a few expendable agents and let word of them reach Darkhammer. The Ultor system is full of gas clouds. It should make any ambush pleasingly effective. Good. Enact your plan, Drang. We will be ready. It seems we have an ambush to prepare. Petitioned for an audience. Petitioned? In most forthright terms. The World Eaters are not known for either respect or subtlety. Welcome to Skaros! Here there has been war and slaughter on a scale you cannot conceive. And still the Orcs come, led by their warlord, Blitz Ripper. My berserkers have drowned worlds in their blood, but the fighting continues. I demand you join your forces to mine! Demand? We should secure Scars. And if there is indeed carnage to be had, it will surely attract Court's favor. Very well. We shall offer the Blood God all the tribute he would wish. A demonstration of our might will throw these barbaric creatures into disarray. Blood for the Blood God! Ooh. 